Welcome to Tractor DJ. In this series of videos, we'll show you how to get started with Tractor DJ. This video is supposed to help people who've never mixed before by just mentioning some facts that are essential when trying to blend two songs together. As an experienced DJ, it's possible to mix almost any track of any genre into another one. However, when you're just getting started mixing, some simple and maybe even obvious rules should be pointed out. Most DJs stick with certain genres that work well together or build up their sets and transition between genres over a longer period of time. Of course, you can try to mix polka music with southern rap tunes, but the initial result might not be what you expected. So when you get started, try to blend tracks that are within the same genre. This makes your life easier and will lead to immediate satisfaction. Once you've got comfortable mixing tracks of the same genre, you can look ahead and be more experimental. So let me demonstrate how well two tracks of the same genre can go together. At this point, we don't care about levels or EQing. We just want to rely on Tractor DJ's recommendation engine, which propose these tracks to us and take advantage of the sync engine in Tractor DJ. We also listen closely to the beat and only try to see if the two songs can be beat matched. Since we're not touching any faders, I'll just make sure that the crossfader is in the middle position. This means I can hear both tracks at their full volume once I start to play them. Let's jump to a part of track one where a little bit less is going on. We can immediately start the second track at this point. Tractor DJ took care of the right timing. Now we just need to slowly bring out track A. Let's use EQ for that. When you have two tracks playing at once, their volumes add up to each other. You're likely to have the double amount of volume, which can result in a bad and clashing sound. The EQ allows you to take certain frequencies away, to blend two tracks well together, and rather than canceling each other's sound, complementing it. Now you can see these two tracks are blending well. This is not only because they belong to the same genre and run almost at the same tempo. Additionally, their rhythms work well with each other, and their musical key also matches up. Matching musical keys have a similar tonal melody, which means tracks will blend better together. When doing long blends like this, these are the factors that are crucial to a good long mix. Tractor DJ tries the best to support your decisions on which songs to match with each other, but beware. Sometimes even tracks with the same tempo and the same musical key can have completely different rhythmical structures, which make it almost impossible to match them up in a long transition. If you want to mix tracks which are harder to blend since some of the factors mentioned before are not fitting that nicely, you need to think of ways on how to achieve this differently. For example, by using a long, drum-free atmospheric part of a song to mix in a new track at a new tempo with a different rhythm on top. Another way would be to time the drop, that is the moment in which a song really takes off, exactly with the break of the song you want to mix out of. The track in deck A just hit such a break and is about to build up again. Since there are no low frequencies audible in deck A anyways, I'll precautionally use a high pass filter to filter out the low frequencies completely. This way I can keep the track running and won't have to worry about clashing frequencies later. One last trick I'd like to share with you is to use an effect to create a big wall of sound yourself in which you can mix in almost anything. I'll just play this track in deck A and use my delay effect to create a nice long delay tail. When I stop deck A now, you can still hear the delay fading out. And I just hit play for deck B in time my transition has been done. So now have fun mixing yourself and keep these simple rules in mind. Ask yourself, do tempo and rhythmical structure of my tracks work with each other? When blending two tracks with melodies, will they sound good and be in key, or will they make your ears bleed? Are these genres working together in a long blend, or should I try to approach the mixing of these with another method? 